Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa inaugurated the first annual conference on the role of education and peaceful coexistence at the Isa Cultural Center. The conference, under the theme Ignorance is the Enemy of Peace, is organized by the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence and will take place between 7 to the 8th of December 2021 with the participation of regional and global educational institutions. His Royal Highness highlights that Bahrain is a country of goodwill and peace, adding that Bahraini citizens exemplify awareness, tolerance and coexistence. He added that Bahrain's diplomatic efforts consolidate the values of tolerance and openness between peoples and cultures, in line with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness noted the role of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in promoting tolerance between peoples. He emphasized that the world today requires all to take proactive steps to protect children from extremist ideas ideologies through education and promoting tolerance, coexistence and compassion. He highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to further developing its education system and ensuring that it caters to the needs of a diverse population. For his part, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, extended his gratitude to His Majesty the King for his patronage of the conference and to His Royal Highness for inaugurating the conference on behalf of His Majesty the King. He noted that the conference has been launched in line with the center's commitment to promoting the values of coexistence and tolerance in line with the kingdom's educational system. Dr. Sheikh Khalid highlighted that the conference aims to provide a platform for exchanging ideas relating to the peaceful coexistence of people of different cultures and faiths. He emphasized the need to include values such as religious, t religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence within university and higher education institutions curriculums around the world. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Ministry of Interior and met with its Minister, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and several high ranking officers. <laughs>
Upon the arrival of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the national anthem was played. حرس الشرف جنبان His Royal Highness expressed his pride in the efforts of the Interior Ministry security personnel in maintaining the kingdom's security and stability and in supporting the kingdom's wide-ranging achievements in line with its comprehensive development goals led by the Supreme Commander, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted the Ministry's commitment to maintaining the services provided by its various agencies for the kingdom's citizens. He affirmed the appreciation of His Majesty the King for the role played by the security forces in preserving the security and stability of the kingdom. His Royal Highness noted that every citizen and resident of the kingdom appreciates the role played by the security forces in maintaining security and peace. He noted that the ministry's efforts will inspire future generations to contribute to the prosperity and security of the kingdom. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain will be launching major development projects that will further develop many sectors and noted the importance of maintaining a safe environment that supports this growth. For his part, on, on behalf of the Ministry of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit and for the high praise given to Bahrain's security forces, which will motivate them to do more. He noted that all employees of the Ministry of Interior, both officers and civilians, continue to serve with dedication and drive required for maintaining peace, security and law enforcement in the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the ninth and final meeting of the board of directors of the Bahrain Olympic Committee for the current electoral cycle 2017 to 2021 in the presence of the Secretary General Mohammed Hassan Al Nasaf and members of the board of directors. His Highness hailed the Olympic Committee's achievements and success during the previous electoral cycle, which is a result of the support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness 
Prince, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as a representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the role of the Board of Directors in developing the vision and general policy of the Olympic Committee, expressing appreciation to the Board of Directors for their efforts during the last electoral cycle. He hailed the outstanding efforts of the committee's executive body led by Mohammed al Nusuf and the efforts of all members and employees of the committee in developing the sports movement. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting chaired by its Speaker Fozia Zainal, where it approved Decree by Law 18 of 2021, amending a number of provisions of Law 51 of 2014 on practicing engineering careers. The Council also approved draft laws amending Article 20 of a number of provisions of the municipalities law. A draft law amending Article 9 of Law 18 of 2006 on social insurance was also approved. The Council then approved a draft law amending the provisions of the VAT law. Council of Representatives Speaker Fozia Zainal held a meeting with the Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. Ministers and members of the Representatives Council Bureau also attended the meeting. The two sides agreed to amend the ninth article of the Social Security Law to increase the value of support for those entitled to it from the program by 10%. They also agreed to increase the support program for low-income families by 10% and pay an annual increase to retirees for those whose pensions do not exceed 1500 Bahraini dinars at a rate of 3% for the year 2021 and 3% for 2022. The speaker said the interests of the nation and citizens represent a top priority for the legislative and executive branches to achieve the aspirations and visions of His Majesty the King. She hailed the efforts undertaken by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to strengthen joint cooperation. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the governmental team's participation in the coordination meeting followed the decision of the Cabinet, authorizing to take appropriate measures regarding a draft law related to amending some provisions related to social insurance and support for low-income families. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Zayed Zayani, participated in the 29th meeting of the Executive Office of the Arab Ministerial Council for Tourism. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's support for the efforts to stimulate inter-tourism among Arab countries and stressed the importance of cooperation to advance tourism in the region. He called to activate initiatives related to developing types of tourist visas, facilitating their access and activating the Arab Tourism Day initiative. Zayani affirmed the role of media, especially in the economic and entertainment sectors, and encouraging inter-Arab tourism, organizing and promoting tourism. He affirmed the kingdom's keenness to share its experiences in tourism with other countries in terms of its rapid recovery after the pandemic and its new strategy to achieve desirable goals. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority Chairman Zaid Zayani met the Assistant Secretary General for Media and Communication at the Arab League, Ahmed Khatabi. The meeting discussed topics in tourism and joint Arab action towards the coronavirus pandemic. It also reviewed ways to develop inter-tourism to achieve sustainable development in the Arab region through training programs in cooperation with the Arab Tourism Organization and the Arab Academy for Science, Technology and Maritime Transport and Soft Tourism for People with Special Needs smart digital tourism, Arab-Chinese partnership, and the selection of the capital of Arab tourism for 2022. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs condemns the Houthi terrorist militia's continued targeting of civil facilities in Saudi Arabia and strongly denounces its launch of a ballistic missile against the city of Khamis Sheikh in a flagrant attack on the kingdom's sovereignty, security and stability, posing a serious threat to the security and safety of civilians. The ministry commends the efficiency and vigilance of the Saudi Air Defense Forces in intercepting the destroying the missile, stressing the Kingdom of Bahrain's support to Saudi Arabia against all that targets its security, stability and territorial integrity. 
The Kingdom of Bahrain has ranked first globally in the Nikkei COVID-19 Recovery Index for the month of November 2021. Following the drop of active COVID-19 cases, Bahrain's performance, ranking first out of 122 countries, demonstrates the Kingdom's progressive role in spearheading COVID-19 mitigation efforts. The global ranking follows Bahrain's efforts in exceeding 3 million COVID-19 vaccination doses. The index ranks 122 countries across three categories, infection management, vaccine rollout, and social mobility at the end of each month. The National Space Science Authority is organizing a virtual introductory session tomorrow in cooperation with Orbital in preparation for the participation in the experiment on the moon competition, which will give a unique opportunity to be part of the first space Arab mission to the moon. To speak more about this outstanding opportunity, we are joined over the phone by partner and director of education and outreach at Orbital Space, Ms. Neda Shimri. Hello, Ms. Neda. Tell us about the experiment in space session and what it aims to achieve in assisting Bahrain's development in space science. Hello, and thank you so much for hosting me tonight. I'm very happy to be with you and to share a glimpse of the exciting competition that we're going to be sharing at tomorrow's event. Um, of course, Experiment on the Moon is going to be the first private moon mission from the Arab region and the second lunar mission from the United Arab Emirates. Um, we, of course, in all our initiatives for students, are aiming to encourage and empower the youth to develop, design, and conduct scientific experiments. And specifically in the space sector, we want to increase awareness about space missions and the space environment and how it, how it has the potential to impact us here on Earth. Ms. can you give us an insight on the attendees list and the agenda of the session? Uh, so in regards to tomorrow's event, it's open to all students and universities. In fact, it, it is specifically targeting higher education institutes and students and academics from different majors. And of course, um, from all of Bahrain universities and research centers. That sounds like an outstanding opportunity. Ms. Neda Shimri, thank you for joining us. And before I end the news, here is a reminder of the top stories. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirms that Bahrain is distinguished by its diverse social blend which enhances its strength and status among countries. And Bahrain ranks first globally in the Nikkei COVID-19 Recovery Index for the month of 2021 in November.